Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I'm CCNA and CCMP certified instructor. On this video, we are covering CCNA new topics have been added to the exam 200-125. This is section 2.1, configure static and default routes. Upon completion of this section, you should be able to explain the purpose of host routes. Automatically installed local host routes, a host route is where the destination address is a specific device IP with a subnet mask of forward slash 32, this is for IPv4, or forward slash 128 for IPv6. There are three ways to create a host route. First, automatically installed when an IP address is configured in the router. Second, configure as a static route or static host route. Third, host route automatically obtained through other methods. So Cisco IOS automatically installs a host route also known as a local host route, when an interface is configured on the router. A host route allows for more efficient process for packets that are directed to the router itself rather than the packet forwarding. This is addition to the connected route designated with a C in the routing table for the networking address of the interface. So I have set up this network, right? So if you watch section 1.1, you can see how do we set it up. Um, now, if I go to one of the routers, uh, let's say what router we are in, uh, router for. If I say show IP interface brief. Now, if I say, for example, uh, show IP route, right? You can see on this router four that we have, for example, let's look at this loopback four, right? So it's here. So two entries. So one for the network 10440 that's a network forward slash 24 and the other one is for local IP address on that network so 10444 forward slash 32 this is a host route the reason why we put this host route is that if if some packets they are destined for the router itself this is why it's in the routing table so if some packet is destined for router itself router is going to find this first because what the router is going to do is going to do the lo longest match. So right away, automatically it's going to find, okay, well, this is for me, so I need to process it. If the router is processing or is, or is forwarding packets to another network, then it's going to use this network or this route. So if I go to router, uh, say, router um, 2, for example, yeah, show IP uh, route, right? Here, what we have, again, let's, let's pick this one this interface is S001 so S001 is here so 10.123.0 that's a network forward slash oh actually 001 is on this side um, 00 here same thing 10.112.0 is a network 10.112.2 is the host route of router 2 that's how we get this host route so we can first of all as soon as we install or we enable the interface it will go in our in our routing table so if i go for example uh, say router to uh, show ip interface brief yeah now router 2 has got two serial interfaces that's it up the rest are down so if i say for example config t interface uh, loopback so let's say loopback 2 ip address I'll say twos, all twos. This is zero. I created that loopback and I say show IP root. Now I'll see the loopback interface has got two entries on our routing table. One, there's a host route, and one, there's a network. That is how you get the host route. The other way that we can get the host route is by creating a manual static route. So, for example, say, okay, well, if you want to config T, if you want to route to an IP address, say 123, 123, 123, 123, and this is all 255s, so that's a host route. So if you want to route to this host, uh, you, you access uh, our loopback we just created, right? Invalid next hop, okay, so yeah, we can't put our loopback. We can put, we have to say your name, yeah, loopback2. And show IP route. So one way of getting that host route was to actually create a net, enable it on the interface, give an IP address. And the second type way of getting that host route is through a static route, creating a static route. A host route can be manually configured, 
static route to direct traffic to a specific destination, to a single host. That static route uses destination IP address with all 255s, mask, for IPv4 host routes and 128 prefix length for IPv6 host route. Static routes are marked with S in the output. So if I go here, you see the S, you see it. For IPv6 static route, the next hop address can be the link local address of the adjacent router. You must specify an interface type and the interface number when using a link local address. So like for example, the link local address FE80 colon colon one, for example, is the exit interface or exit IP address of the next hop neighbor. So when you create the static route, if you remember, you can either say um, my exit interface, right, as a static route, or you can say the neighbor's IP address, that's the next hop static route, or you can say a fully specified static route, which is the exit interface and the next hop IP address. Okay, I hope this explained this section, uh, configuring static and a default route. Thank you for watching and please have a look at my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. This has been Astrid Krasnici. Bye-bye.